Hey, Zobo. Do you want to read another book today? Cool. This one's called When Lulu Went to the Zoo by Andy Ellis. And this one is one of my new favorite books because it is super, super cute. Are you ready? Set. Go. Great work. Okay, so Lulu went to the zoo. When Lulu went to the zoo, she was sad for the giraffes and the penguins, too. The tigers were crying really big tears, and the life had gone out of the llama's ears. Oh, those poor sad llamas. Though Lulu was only two times two, she knew that animals should not be in the zoo. And though Lulu was the size that Lulu should be, she found that she might, no, it was a bit tight, fit through the bars of the cages with ease. Oh, what she gonna do? And chat with the animals as she swung through the trees. She had to be careful so nobody saw. Then she slipped out again through the little cage door. Oh, what's she gonna do with them? Do you think she's gonna let them out? And what she discovered while she talked to them all was they dreamed of splashing in a real waterfall or dancing on icebergs that filled up the sea. Oh, look at all those cute penguins. Can we count them together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What comes after seven? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. 16 if you count this one. Or flying in the sky or flamingo or bee. In short, to know how it feels to be free. She whispered to the animals, you can come to my house. There's room for you all from elephant to mouse. And one moonless night, she let them all go and smuggled them back so no one would know. And they lived in, they lived with Sweet Lulu in Sweet Lulu's house. Oh my goodness, they have a tutu and wings and bunny ears. But there wasn't quite room for elephant and mouse. The fridge was too full of penguins and seals. There was no room for food. So no one had meals. They couldn't eat. Oh my goodness. What's your favorite thing to eat, Zo? Mmm. My favorite thing to eat is actually salad. Because you get can get lots of different kinds of salad. And the bathroom was the right place for a lovely hot wash. But the bear in the bathtub was a bit of a squash. Though Lulu loved them with a very love very deep, it was never an easy secret to keep all these crazy animals. We've found you, the six sad zoomin said. Please give back our animals. We'll put them to bed. But Lulu was bold and she said, don't you see? The zoo's not the place for my best friends to be. Every one of them says they want to be free. And she talked, as only a four-year-old can, of an idea she had that was called Lululand. And Lulu and the zoomin imagined a place where each of the animals had oodles of space. Now, whenever she wants to... She tiptoes away to visit her friends and play there all day. Oh, they made a park called Lululand where she can visit all of her fun animals. But on warm, moonlit nights, she invites them all back when no one is looking for a big midnight snack. The end. That was a great story, Zoe. Thanks for reading with me today.